Hello and welcome to the Blue Monkey Forensics video series. In this video, we are going to do a comparison between the WeebyTech USB 3.1 write blocker and the Tableau TAU USB write blocker. Please help me out by hitting the subscribe button so I can learn to argue effectively. After the unboxing video about the WeebyTech USB 3.1 write blocker, I got a few questions about speed and comparison to the Tableau write blocker. So in this video, we are going to take a look at the speed comparison of the two products. We are also going to look at the speeds of running with all three USB ports of the WeebyTech device. The testing machine that I used was an older MacBook that did not have the USB-C connections. For the output drive, I used a Samsung T7 1TB connected via the USB 3 port of the MacBook. This is a very fast drive, so it should not be a bottleneck for these speed tests. For the source drive, I used a Samsung 256 gig SSD connected to a separate USB 3 port off the MacBook. For imaging software, I used FTK Imager. I created E01s as the output. I used the default compression and no encryption. Then I launched FTK Imager, brought in the physical device of the source, then selected the export disk image, create an E01, select the output folder and the image name. For the fragment size, I chose 2000 megs. And then I did not verify images because I just want to do the raw imaging. So I started the imaging process. In the initial outset of the disk where there's some data, the speeds was about in the 50s. And then as it got passed to the empty parts of the drive, the average went up to where it ended up about 103 or so. The total amount of time it took was about 39 minutes and 14 seconds to complete. For the Tableau write blocker test, I used the same hardware setup. The only difference is that the source was connected to the Tableau via a SATA to a USB-A cable because the Tableau does not have a USB-C port. Same idea is that I selected the source drive, the 256 gig SATA hard drive. Then I did export disk image, selected an E01 output, selected our destination folder on the same output drive, named the Tableau fragment size also at 2000, and then started off. And similarly, in the beginning of the disk, the speed was about 50 megabytes per second. And as it shot past the parts of the drive where there was actual data to the empty parts of the drive, it will speed up and end up around 94 megs a second. The total time the Tableau took was 43 minutes and 16 seconds. So it took a little bit more time than the WeebyTech. I'm not sure if this is just because of the USB 3.0 versus 3.1 connection to the write blocker, or is it just the amount of time it took I don't believe there is a delay through either write blocker. The next test was to see about the speeds of the WeebyTech write blocker when all three USB ports are being used to image at the same time. So before we did that, I took a look at the imaging speed for the WeebyTech for just using the second device, which is a Samsung 32 gig SSD. This took about 3 minutes and 35 seconds to image the entire drive. The average speed was about 66 megs a second uh, in the beginning where there was data and towards the end when there was no data and a lot of compression able to happen, we were able to achieve about 142 megs a second. The third device that we imaged is a 16 gig thumb drive. This took about 5 minutes and 24 seconds to complete by itself, which ended up to be about 47 megabytes per second towards the end of the imaging. So now to test 
the Weeby Tech with all three USB ports active, I ran FTK Imager and tried to bring in all three devices at the same time to run. But unfortunately, FTK Imager crashed. So what I did is actually started three separate instances of FTK Imager and with each one running its own imaging of one of the three drives. So as I was running all three of them together for the Samsung 32 gig SSD, this took about five minutes and two seconds to complete with the average speed of about 101 megs a second for the 16 gig thumb drive that was completed in nine minutes and 16 seconds with an average speed of about 26 megs a second. And finally, for the large drive, the Samsung 256 gig, uh, that took about 44 minutes and 29 seconds to complete with the average speed was about 91 megabytes per second. Since the total time for all three devices took 44 minutes and 29 seconds versus just 39 minutes and 14 seconds for just the Samsung 256 uh, gig, clearly having to image all three devices together slowed down the overall process. But if you had to do them one at a time, you would basically add up the, the times, right, of 39 minutes and 14 seconds, added to three minutes and 35 seconds, added to five minutes and 24 seconds, which totals 48 minutes and 13 seconds, if you uh, were very fast and had no downtime in between. But otherwise, 48 minutes and 13 seconds is still slower than uh, 44 minutes and 29 seconds. So clearly doing them all together still gave you some time advantage. So this is actually working out pretty good for the Weeby Tech. Now, because I'm a Linux guy, you know I have to do a comparison to using Linux. So I used the exact same hardware and media and repeated the text in the Linux environment. All three devices were plugged into one hub, which is then plugged into the USB port of the MacBook Pro. So essentially I would open three different terminal windows and in each one of them, I would read in one of the three drives and send the output to the same uh, output staging media. And I would start all these pretty much in parallel. On the command line, I use DC3DD in conjunction with EWF acquire stream to create the E01 images. So the command line is essentially sudo DC3DD if equals slash dev sd whatever the drive is log equals uh, first drive dot log pipe that to ewf acquire stream dash l first drive dot log dash t first drive and the average speed for imaging the 256 gig SSD was about 75 megs a second. Uh, the total time uh, that it took to image all three things in parallel is 42 minutes and 24 seconds. And the conclusion is that since Linux only took 42 minutes and 24 seconds to image all three devices, it is definitely faster than using the Windows method, which took 44 minutes and 29 seconds. I think one caveat is that since the times are actually fairly close, it's only off by two minutes, which is only a few percentage points. Uh, I think any hiccups in any of the hardware may account for the time differences. So the conclusion, which is the winner, Weeby Tech or Tableau? The winner is actually you, the forensic examiner, as you have choices, right? Each one of these uh, write blockers have their individual strengths. For the Weeby Tech, the USB 3.1 speeds is, is nice to have, and it actually supports three devices simultaneously without any time penalty. And you can also operate this device without any external power. The strengths for the Tableau is that it doesn't need any Windows drivers, so it can work with Linux and Mac OS. And remember, hardware write blockers are highly recommended as there is no worse feeling than overriding evidence by mistake. 
All right, so that brings us to the end of this video where we took a look at the WeebyTech USB 3.1 write blocker versus the Tableau T8U USB write blocker. Hope you enjoyed it, and if so, click on the thumbs up icon to like this video. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when the next video comes out. Also, please leave me messages in the comment section below so I know what you liked and didn't like, or what you may want to see in future videos. See you next time.